Welcome back. I'm Monica from LA Parks. Today, I'm with Channel 35 and I'll be teaching chair circuit. What you'll need is a sturdy chair, a fitness ball, water, and a towel. Let's get started with the seated march. Now, as you're getting that sturdy chair and your equipment together, do not forget to like and share today's workout on Facebook. Chest is proud, lifted here, shoulders away from the ears. Functional movement, functional training today. We'll be working off both for time and repetitions, just to switch things up. Nice and tall, lengthen and reach right here. A little bit of coordination. Continue with that steady seated march as you lengthen through that spine, reaching up and slightly over. A few more seconds here. We're gonna go into cross jabs. We're gonna step out, step in right here. So cross and step out, step in. Small movements here. First five minutes, getting the body warmed up. Cleansing breath into the nose and on the extensions you want to exhale to the mouth adding a little bit of range warming up those obliques back most definitely the upper body here last few seconds here right back to the march chest is proud Lean back just a little bit. Drive those knees up a little bit higher as you slowly pick up your pace. You got it, come on. 30 second push here. Switching it up today. The majority of our cardio training will be seated. Our resistance training, we will be standing. Using your own body weight for resistance training as well as that fitness ball. Now, as far as your equipment goes, it is a weighted ball, medicine, or slam ball. Any other ball you're welcome to use. Just realize that the resistance, the actual weight will vary, right? So moving a little bit slower, if it's a fitness weighted ball, otherwise you're holding a soccer ball, basketball, or maybe a single weight. Switching it up right here, that single dumbbell. Running that spine, abs and gates, Feel that stretch through the lower back. Inhale to center. Excellent, on those taps. We're gonna go right back to that march in 10 seconds. And I incorporate a leg extension, getting ready, ready. Right here, march two, three, extend and reach. March, two, three, extend and reach. When you're ready, ready. Pick up your pace. Pause on that stretch for as long as you need to. We're here for the next 20 seconds. Last time each side. Good job, arms, legs, shake it out. Wiggle those fingers, toes when you're ready, ready. Grab a hold onto your ball. Focusing a little bit on range and mobility here. Anything that's in your way, move it out of your way so you have a little bit of space. It might be your ball placement holder here. Toes, knees forward. We're gonna sit into it, deep squats, ball at chest level, press up, repeat. Deep squat, ball at chest level, press up, yes. Pick up your pace. Hinging from those hips, bending those knees. You got it, 20 seconds.
last few here. Good job, give yourself some space from that chair. We're gonna step back, incorporate your rotation here. So this focus is a little bit more on your obliques. Toes, knees forward, stepping back. Keep the ball nice and close to the body. Even on that rotation. Quick in and out. 30 seconds here. We're gonna go into that seated, seated cardio movement here. Getting ready, ready. Racing to that core, engaging those obliques. Last to each side. Looking good. And time, place that ball off to the side, make sure it's not rolling. Shout out to my sand bell, holding on to my medicine ball. All right, we're going to go into those tap outs one hand at a time. 15 seconds, please start. We'll incorporate an arm press. Both hands actually at the same time. Single tap, pressing up, get ready, ready in five. Total time, 45, three, two, single tap, press up, single tap, press up. Opposite hand. Yes. You're almost halfway. Come on. Strong on that press up. Fifteen seconds. Push. Press up. Come on. And time, good job. Arms, legs, shake it out. Now let's repeat that resistance training sequence. Flexing your options. Maybe you're going to eliminate the press. Foot placement. Toes, knees out. Repositioning the legs. Walking your feet out just a little bit to acknowledge the glutes. Sit into it, tap, stretch. Press up. This is for time. Move at your own pace. You definitely can break this one up. I'll eliminate the press. I'll eliminate the floor tap, yes. Keep the move as smooth as possible, yes? Looking good, last few seconds here. Obliques coming up. Right here, set up. So once again, step away from your chair, off to the side, whatever works. Toes, knees forward, step out. Keep the ball close to the body. Right into it. 45 seconds for time. Seated cardio. A little bit of balance coordination. Getting ready, ready. You got it. Less than 20 seconds here. Last time each side. Good job. Once again, ball off to the side, out of your way. March for three. Knee up hold. So you're gonna march, two, knee up hold. Repeat, march, two, knee up hold. 
You can even coordinate a tap. Yes. Looking good. How's your range? Last few seconds here. Everything changes. Resistance training and cardio. Last one here. Good job. All right, arms, legs. Shake it out. Look at those fingers and toes. Let's go, in, let's go right back to your resistance training. So once again, another fun compound movement. We're gonna incorporate a row to stand movement. Keeping the ball nice and close to the body, especially from that hinge position to you standing up nice and strong, nice and tall here. So bend those knees, reposition the legs, body here so that you're a, a little bit more of a narrow stance maybe slightly wider than hip distance apart. Bend those knees, tabletop, back is flat. Bring that ball towards your belly button. Stand up straight. Repeat, controlled movement, row. Power up as you stand up straight. One and one. Controlled on that row. Power, muscle engagement at the top when you stand. Same time, 45 seconds total. Yes. In 15 seconds, we will break up this tempo for repetitions. But I said earlier, we'll be incorporating some reps for every three rows. We'll incorporate one standing. Yes, so three and one right here. So you're gonna pull two, three, Stand up straight, repeat, row, two, three, stand up straight. You got it. Last few here. Two more. One more. Good job. All right, for this one, we're gonna take the ball off to the side. Body weights only. You're going to sit back, almost relax, not quite. Leg extensions, leg lifts, toes straight up. That foot is flexed. 10 reps. Full range or pulse. You got it. Nine, Ooh, switch sides, lift. Nine, burn. All right, so the second exercise is quick yet brief. Flexing your options. I did say cardio training. Some of the time out of a saddle, otherwise please remain seated and rock that march. If you wanna incorporate that balance, you can, otherwise you are up with me. If we're working quads, we need to acknowledge our hamstrings, so you're here. Reach and pull, spread those fingers, make a fist as you pull back. We'll be doubling up. We'll be switching up that tempo here. Give me doubles, two and two. 20 seconds. And then we'll switch up that count and go into a single. Single, double, yes. Really squeezing the back of those legs. Heel to butt. Your range, full range. All right, switching it up. Check in. Single, double up. Single, double up. Keep it up, come on. Looking good. 
15 seconds here. Last time. Good job, shake it out. Arms and legs. All right, we're gonna repeat that sequence with the ball. Row to stand, yes. One and one. And then we'll incorporate the opposite tempo count, which will be one row, three lifts. So you're here. Alternate with me here. Natural slight bend in those knees. Think about standing up straight versus pushing your hips forward. Engage glutes and abs at the top. Two more. Exhale when you bring that ball towards your abdominals. Center. Exhale when you stand up straight. Here's the switch up. One row, up and down three times. Yes, hinge. Engage, yes. It's a one and three. You got it, come on. Leg lifts coming up. Quad focus. Two more. Last one here. One more rep. And time. Very good, ball off to the side. Who appreciates the 10 reps? Not for time lift. Me. All right, pick a side, doesn't matter which side, because we're gonna be switching sides. Let's get it. Eight, nine, switch. Woo! Right into it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and boom. All right, how are we doing? Are we gonna stay seated for that march? You might be giving me that running late pace. Welcome to your 60 second cardio push. Yes, incorporate that balance on three. Otherwise you are up. Hamstring curls, balance right here, right into those singles. Arm change, spread those fingers, you can pull back. Whatever you wanna do with the arms, we'll switch it up today, yes. Do what feels good, do what feels natural. Right here, singles, double up, two and two, yes. 20 seconds here, and then we'll switch it up. Singles to doubles. Looking good. Less than 10 seconds. Right here. Single, double up. Single, double up. You got it, 30 seconds to finish, come on. Who's ready, ready for some resistance training? Right back into it again, yes. Looking good. Last time each side. And time, good job, shake it out. Arms, legs, quick high five. If you need it, take it please. Towel off, hydrate. How do your legs feel? Needing a break? Cheers. All right, biceps, triceps. Yes. Scoot forward. You definitely could stand if you'd like. So you're here. Arms are extended, locked, right into that bicep curl. 
10 reps. Four, five, come on. Six, seven, eight, nine, narrow stance, tricep overhead. 10 reps. Full extension, full extension. Excelling at the top. Last one, right into it. Bicep curls, 10 reps. Right into it, triceps, let's go. Head is slightly forward, arms, elbows locked in. Nice and close to the body, head, ears. Last one, come on. Good job, ball off to the side. Yeah, that's the arm exercise. It's pretty vigorous, right? 10 and 10. All right, cardio push. Stay seated if you like. Good old fashioned jacks, yes. Ready, ready? If you wanna stand, right back up, and you're here. You got it, come on. Intensity can be speed, it can be range. Arms need a break. Let your legs do the work, yes. 30 seconds to go, come on. One more push, biceps, triceps. Seated or standing jacks. No jump. Kick it up. Last few seconds. Shake it out. Arms, legs. When you're ready, ready. For your 10 and 10 biceps, triceps. You can stay up. You can have a seat. Right into it. Let's go. Five more. Good job. Narrow stance. Seated or standing. Triceps. Ten reps. Let's go. Concentration. Last one. Second final set. Finishing with cardio, yes. Good form, shoulders away. Chest is proud. Last one, very good. Right back to those triceps. Narrow stance, core strength. Engage those abs. Last 10. Last three, come on. Eight, nine, yes. Boom, right into those jacks. Seated or standing, 30 seconds to finish. Let's go. Push. Looking good. Come on. Four, breathe, last two, shake out those arms. Ooh, welcome back, that's a wrap. Well done, walk it out if you need to. Incorporate some light stretches, anything that might be in your way, move it out of the way. All right, extending your right or left leg, hamstring stretch. Hips, quads coming up, inhale up. Exhale, other side. All right, so welcome back. This is definitely gonna be one of those workouts. Some of you might be feeling it now, <laughs> come up. Some of you will be feeling it later. Not today, 
maybe in about two, two and a half days or two to three days. All right, drop into your lunge. It could be a mini lunge. Your deep lunge here. Back leg. Bring it in for the quad stretch. Knees together. Push those hips forward. Lengthen, reach. Lower that hand down, release. Hip opener for three. Yes, two, other side. Hips, Drop it into, dropping it into your deep lunge stretch. So this might be enough. Tuck that tailbone, otherwise, drop it low. Your back leg, that knee is bent. Weight distribution is equal. You don't want to lean too much into your chair. It's just for some support, a little balance. When you're ready, back leg. Bring it in for the quads. We felt it on those leg lifts. Yes. Different squat variations. That narrow stance worked the quads, right? Remember that tap, chest press. Pressing up, ball at chest level. Carefully release when you're ready. Shake it out. Have a seat, we're gonna go into our famous pose. Which one is it? Album pose, right over left or left over right. Sitting up nice and tall. Gently press onto that thigh or fold the body in half. Do what feels good. Ankle mobility rotates, point flex, changing directions. Yes, listening to your body. Always back off if you need to. Gentle shake and then get right back into the stretch. So anytime we do stretches here, you wanna move at your own pace. If you can go a little further, a little deeper with your exhalation, I encourage that. Otherwise, just listen to your body. Back off, reset, and then begin whenever you're ready. Ready. Switching sides, same fun exercise. Strike that pose. Once again, holding it here, gently pressing onto that thigh or fold the body in half. Moving that ankle. Figure eight, point and flex. Drop that head side to side if that feels good. Good work. Carefully release, breathing in. Xing a little bit deeper if you can. Especially on that side that might be a little bit tighter. Give yourself grace. Be patient with yourselves here. Release when you're ready. Sitting up nice and tall, deep and up. Strong exhale, push out. Shoulder roll back two times. Inhale up. Exhale, push out, release. Gentle shake. I appreciate you all. You rock 